Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Friday morning live Pilates session. We're going to do a fabulous 30-minute session. Today is all about releasing tight back muscles and working the core. Okay, so this is great as an active recovery session. It's going to work really well if you've got general backache, got a little bit of arthritis. It's going to cover all those things. Okay, so we'll get started. If you want to ask me anything at all, you can do so after our session. So we'll do 30 minutes. If you've got a question, you can pop it in the live chat. You can see it on the side of the screen there. And I will speak to you after the session. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so coming onto your mat. And I'm going to give you a really nice mix of things today. So first thing we're going to do is lie down. And we're going to start to loosen up the back. So that's the very first thing that I want to work on. So I want you to bring your feet and your knees together. And think as if you're holding something between the knees, so the knees are not going to separate. Just pop your arms out to the side, rest them down on the floor, and then just take a moment to see if you can feel any tension in your back. If, like me, you've got a bit of a tight back, you might be feeling tense here. So see if you can just let everything kind of melt down. Just a lovely feeling of everything relaxing, trying to let go, letting go of any tension in the body, any stress in the mind. And let's just take some deep breaths. So you're going to inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. All right, let's do that again. So breathing in and on your next exhale, think of letting your rib cage just gently sink down. So releasing any tension you may have in your upper body. And then on the next one, take a breath in. And as you exhale, think of the hips just sinking down into the mat. All right, so you can take a breath in. And on the next exhale, let's gently take those knees over to the right hand side. So we're going to be doing lots of nice rotation today and then bring them back, okay? So I don't want you to feel that this is really challenging at the moment. This is just about loosening up the spine. And the best way to do that is to do rotational movements, okay? So gently going side to side, just working within what feels comfortable for you, all right? That's it. So this is the way to warm up the back, especially if it's feeling rather uncomfortable. All right, we're gonna come back to the center. Now I want you to bring your feet apart, uh, just a little bit wider than your hips, okay? We can do the same movement now. So we're gonna drop the knees over to the right. See if you can go a little further. So you're feeling that stretch around here, back to the center over the other side. All right, and again, just going side to side at a pace that suits you. This is not about having the perfect form. This is just about soothing and easing the back. We're gonna do two more, over and over and coming back. Okay, so bring your feet back together and we're gonna roll onto our side now. Okay, so knees are together and they're bent. With our bottom shoulder, we wanna lie on the shoulder. Okay, so you don't want your shoulder elevated. You want to lie on it and bring a hand out like so. Other hand on top. You Then we're gonna put our head down. If you feel that's too much for you, you can put a pillow under it, okay? And we're gonna rotate the top half of the body. So we're gonna bring the arm up. You're gonna to look towards that hand and then you're gonna follow that hand. But I want you to feel the rotation coming through here, through the ribs, okay? So we're really trying to just gently stretch out that back. And you're gonna bring the arm up and bring it down. Let's try that again. You're gonna inhale, lifting up. Exhale, following the hand with your eyes. Try not to let the arm drop down. Try and feel the movement in your spine. Don't know about you, but my back's already starting to click. Clicking, by the way, is nothing to worry about. Clicking is a good thing. Let's do one more. Lifting up. 
and open out and coming up and back. Now, what we're going to do is take this arm and take it into a circle. So can you see we're going up above our head and as it goes behind you, you're going to follow it with your eyes and then bring it all the way back over the hip and return. So you can have it just above the floor, sweeping around. Two, and one more up. And sweeping around and back. Very good. Let's turn over. So I'm just going to turn away from you. And we'll do the other side. So exactly the same thing. You've got your shoulder underneath you. Okay, hand here, and then you're going to inhale, bring that arm up, and as you exhale, think of the ribs rotating, you're trying to really feel the movement coming here, this is what helps release that back, that's it, and then you're going to inhale up, and exhale to come down, let's try that again, so you're going to inhale, lift, exhale, rotating, inhale, up, and lower down, one more, inhale up, and exhale, rotating, lift, and lower down. Let's do our nice circle. So we're going to take that arm up above the head, and as it starts to move behind you, you're going to rotate, follow that hand with your eyes, and bring it back over. And again, lift, open, and rotate, and one more, lift, open, and rotate, and come back down. Well done. Rolling onto your back. Okay, so let's start with some flexion now. We're going to keep those knees bent. Let's have them feet hip width apart. We're going to go into our pelvic curl. Okay, so we're going to think very much of a sense of length today with everything that we do, okay? So you're going to take a breath in, breathe out. Let's pull the tummy in, tilt the pelvis, and peel up. Coming all the way up into your bridge position. Very important here that the, we don't let those ribs go. This is not about arching the back. In Pilates, we're very mindful of our technique and our position. Okay, so nice long spine here. Take a breath in. Breathing out, we're going to really relax the rib cage. And this is where we get that lovely stretch. So try and feel that movement coming down through the spine and onto the floor. So deep breath in, exhaling to tilt. And roll that spine up, pushing up through those legs. Inhale. And exhale. Coming down, good, deep breath in. Breathing out to tilt. Rolling the spine up, press down into your feet. Feel that length through the spine, inhale. Try and visualize your spine coming down one little vertebra at a time. Yeah, it's not about rushing, this is about really getting into that spine, into those muscles. Peeling up, that's it, good, inhale, exhale, coming down one more, deep breath in, and exhale, tilt, and roll the spine up, we're going to hold it here, we're going to take a breath in, and as you breathe out, let's try and tilt that pelvis up. So you feel your bottom really squeezing, you feeling a little stretch maybe through the front here, which is what we want. Take a breath in, and breathing out. Let's come all the way back down. Find your neutral position. So I want you to take your feet a little further out. So we can get this sense of length through the spine, okay? There is a method to what I'm teaching this morning. So what we're going to avoid is this happening, all right, through anything we do this morning. We want to keep the spine long and we want to lengthen it out and release this tightness in the back here. So we keep this position. We take the hands behind the head. 
little chest lift. So we're going to open the elbows up. And your task really this morning is to keep your pelvis still. So take a breath in, breathe out, pull the tummy muscles in, pull that belly button in, and just start to lift the spine, but only come as far as you can keep your pelvis from moving. And you're going to inhale there and exhale to come back down. Deep breath in and exhale, lift. Inhale to hold and exhale to lower down. Two more, deep breath in, exhale, lift. So we're going for quality over quantity, coming up as high as you can and resisting the urge to move the pelvis, inhale, and exhale to come down. One more, deep breath in, and exhale to lift. Inhale to hold and exhale to come back down. Now we're gonna add a rotation. All right, so you're gonna take a breath in. You're gonna breathe out. Let's lift the head and chest back up. Have that little check that your pelvis hasn't moved. Now take a breath in. And as you breathe out, little rotation of those ribs to the right and come back to center, to the left and back to center, to the right and center, left, and center, four more, four, three, two, one, take a deep breath in, lift up if little if you can, and exhale to come back down. Well done, let's bring our knees up now, and just hug those knees into your chest. So take a breath in, exhale, pulling those knees, let your tailbone lift so you're getting that stretch in the lower back and release. Deep breath in, exhale. And release one more deep breath in, exhale. Good, now we're gonna try and rock up to sitting. Okay, so you're gonna have your hands underneath those legs. All right, little movement of the legs, a little swing of the legs for one. We're gonna come up on three, two, three. Bring yourself up, well done. Okay, so we're gonna go into the roll-ups. I've had so many messages about these uh, movements, so I thought we would do it today together. I'll try and break it down for you. If you know what you're doing, get on with it at your own leisure. Otherwise, you're going to keep your knees bent, all right, because we've got a tight back. What we don't want to do is overly work the back or strain the back. So we're going to keep the knees bent. You're still going to get a great core workout. Let's have the arms out. Now take a breath in, pull the tummy in and round this part of your back as far as you can. OK, so you're really trying to hollow out the tummy, coming back, coming back, coming back as far as you can. All right, if you have problems getting up, you don't have to go all the way down. Then you take a breath in. You exhale. If you need to, hands underneath, coming up. But as you come up, keep pulling in so we're not letting go of the core, okay? I want you to fold over those knees and then lift back up. We're just going to do three more. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, scooping in, tucking under. Now try and keep that hold all the way down. So don't let go of the tummy. All right. Then when you've got as far as you can, you inhale. You exhale, pull the tummy muscles in. That's it. To come up, folding over, stretching out and lifting up. And again, exhale, tucking under. So this is where you're holding, 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 pulling that belly button in. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Over, stretching out that back hand up. And deep breath in, exhale, tucking under. That's it. Arms overhead. Arms come forward, lifting up, over, 
and reaching up. Well done. So now we're going to do the rolling because this is the other one I get loads of questions about. Okay, so I'm just going to move my microphone just a little so I don't roll on top of it. Okay, so rolling like a ball is what it's called, and that's what you want to think about, that your spine's round like a ball. So you bring your feet in as much as you can, knees together, and then before we do anything, think about the last exercise, how we started. So you're going to pull the tummy in and just round that lower back. So you can feel the stretch here. All right. And then we float the feet up. If you need more support, you can hold underneath those knees. OK, that's a little easier. And then from there, you're going to tip back by pulling your tummy in. So just let gravity take over. Just keep pulling your tummy in. Keep pulling in, keep pulling in. Hold the shape as you go back and then come up. All right. Now, if it's really difficult, you want to go a little faster. And if you're feeling that you can challenge yourself a little, you can go slower. But what I love about this is it massages out those muscles either side of your spine. All right. So we're just rolling back and forth. And we're going to do four more of these because I want you to just get into the swing of it. Four and three. That's it. Two and one. And placing the feet back down. Well done. Okay, so from there, let's come back. Let's have our legs out in front of us. And I'm doing everything today, assuming that you're feeling tight in the back. So that's why my knees are bent. Well, normally they would be straight. Okay, but I want to show you what your options can be. So we've got our feet apart, knees bent. And we're going to do a little stretch first of all. Okay, so you're going to take your arms out in front and just wiggle from side to side and try and see if you can lift a little in that lower back. Okay. And we're going to stretch forward. So the idea is that you've got your back up against the wall and we're going to peel off it, starting right from the top of the head here. So take a breath in. And as you breathe out, let's take the chin to the chest. Let's pull the tummy muscles in. Imagine there's a little ball in front of you and you've got to try and not touch it with your tummy. So you're rounding the back. But at the same time, you're moving forward to stretch it. What's nice with the knees bent is you really get that stretch down here where we all need it most. Then take a breath in, breathing out, pull the tummy in and come back up that imaginary wall. That's it. Let's try that again. Deep breath in. Exhale. So chin to the chest. Pulling the tummy muscles in, but at the same time, rounding forward. Okay, it's not a fold. It's very much a rounded movement because we want to stretch the spinal muscles. Inhale. Exhale. Coming up. Let's do one more deep breath in. Exhale, rounding. So pulling in here, reaching forward. That's it. Good. Inhale. And exhale, pulling in and coming all the way up. Very good. OK, so from here, you're now going to take the arms out to the side. We're going to add rotation. So you're going to rotate your chest to the right. Bring your left arm across. And now you're going to start to round forward, reaching to the outside of that foot. So you're going to feel the stretch on the left side of the body. OK, and then you're going to come back up, open the arm out and come back to the start position. Let's go the other way. So you're going to rotate. You're going to bring your right arm across and then we're going to reach over towards a little toe. And what you're trying to do is keep your sit bones on the floor. So bottom down, even weight on those bottom cheeks. So we get that stretch through the back. Come on up. Bring that arm in line and open out. Once more each side, open, rotate, and reach into the outside of that right foot. Finding that stretch down the left side, coming up, and open, and to your left, rotate, and reaching down. Good, 
and lifting up and open out. Super. All right, from there, we're going to come onto our side again. We're going to start to work through the hips now. So we want you lying down, or if it feels nice, you can have your hand under or a cushion under the head there. Clamshell. So clamshell is going to really loosen up around the hips and the lower back. You're going to have your hand on this top hip. And first thing I want you to do is push the hip away so you feel the lift here and then let everything drop back down. Can you see? So you're going to push away. You'll feel that lovely lengthening through the spine. That feels so nice. And back and push away. And back one more, push away. And this time, holding that lovely neutral position on your side, you're going to exhale. You're going to open that leg up. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, open. Inhale, lower. Again, think of very long in that spine. Okay? So we're trying to really stretch everything out. Open. And down, we'll do two more. So six of these, open and down and open and down. Well done, come on up. Now from here, I want you to bring this leg around in front of you. Okay, so it's either in front of you like this and you're gonna bring it close to your body. If you've got flexibility, you can bring those legs a little tighter and take this leg over the top, okay? Opposite arm comes around and it's like you're hugging that knee into your chest. You're gonna lift up through the spine. This hand going behind you and then you're gonna turn and rotate towards that leg. And again, more rotation. It really does loosen up your back. Your back will feel lovely after this. So take a breath in, breathing out and just gently Trying to get a little bit more movement out there. Good. Releasing that leg, let's go on to the other side. So clamshell. But first, let's get our nice long spine. Let's get our hand on the top here. And then let's press that hip away. So you feel that lift underneath and down. Exhale, press it away. And down, two more, away and down and press away and hold exhale to open and inhale down exhale to open and inhale down that's it open and down open and down open and down last one open and down. Well done. Come on up. Let's bring this leg around. So it's either coming in towards you here or it's going to go over the top. Whichever version you're doing, let's get this hip down. Opposite arm around. Now lift up through the spine. Take that hand behind you and let's rotate. Well done, and come back around. Okay, you're going to come and lie on your front now. Okay, so we're going to start to move the back a little bit. So we've got our feet apart. We've got our hands down, elbows bent, and you can have your elbows close to your body. But if that feels tense in your neck, you can widen those hands out, okay? Now let's tuck the chin so we're lengthening through the back of the neck here. All right, we're gonna take a breath in. So you breathe out, pull your tummy in away from the mat and start to lift up. We're gonna come onto the elbows to start with. Hold it there, take a breath in and breathe out to come down. Now, if you've got a tight back, there's always a temptation to really clench the bottom. Try not to do that, so deep breath in. Exhale. Starting to lift, feeling the weight on the elbows. Now, if you feel it's okay, you can press into those hands, keep your elbows close to your body and just come up as far as your back feels it wants to go. 
Take as much time as you need and take a breath in and breathing out slowly, coming back down. Gonna inhale there and exhale, starting to lift. Coming up. That's it, well done, deep breath in and exhale. Coming down. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Pressing into those hands. Lifting up. If you've come all the way up, let's just hold it here for a moment. See if you can get any more movement, but don't let the tummy collapse. So you really are supporting your lower back. Deep breath in and exhale. Coming all the way down. Let's bring the feet together, hands under the shoulders, and then you're going to push yourself up. We're going to come into a kneeling position. Okay, you're going to take a breath in. You're going to breathe out, pull the tummy muscles in, tucking under, just stretching out that lower back. Let the head come down and then inhale. Exhale, reaching back the other way. Deep breath in. Exhale, tucking under. Inhale and exhale back the other way. One more deep breath in. Exhale, tucking under. Inhale back the other way. Now you're going to reach your right leg back. You're going to reach your left leg back. Okay, and then we're going to go from here into our up stretch. So hips to the ceiling. Coming into that lovely up stretch, you can adjust your hands as you need to. Let's try and get that chest as close to the thighs as possible, lowering those heels down, deepening that stretch through the body, lifting up. And then we're going to come down, bring the feet in, and you're going to come and lie down on your mat. It's going to do a little bit of core work and a stretch to finish, all right, or a little bit more core work and a stretch to finish. Okay, so we're going to keep the knees bent and I want you to just make sure that you don't arch the back, okay? So we're going to lift those legs into tabletop, but we are really going to think about pulling in here so those legs don't go away from us. All right, and then from there, you're going to take the hands behind the head. You're going to take a deep breath in, you're going to exhale, pull the tummy in. I want you to see if you can flatten your lower back into the mat. And then you're going to come back. So deep breath in, exhale, pulling in, flatten the back. So I don't normally say this, but this is about protecting that lower back. Inhale. Exhale. And back. Deep breath in. Exhale. Lift. Now from here, let's lower the right leg down and bring it back up. Keep your chest up. Lower the left and back up. Lower the right. So you're reaching out and stretching. That's it. And lower the left and up. Four. Three. Two. Very good. One. Now just check in with that back that it's still pressing into the mat. Now I want you to lower the right leg and add a rotation to your left. Bring everything back up. Lower the left leg, rotating to your right, trying to get that left elbow to the right knee and come back up, but keep your back pressing into the floor. Right leg goes down, it doesn't touch the floor. We rotate. Right elbow to left knee, hand up, lower the left, rotate, and back. I hope you're feeling this, I know I am now, and lower, rotate, and back. Last one, lower, rotate, and back. Take the head down, take the left leg down, and with that right leg, let's put the right ankle across the left knee. You can take your hands away now and you can either stay here taking a breath in, pressing out on that right knee 
the idea is you're feeling this in your hip. Uh, you want it to be a little bit more intense, you can lift that left leg up, hands under the left thigh, take a breath in, breathe out and just pull that knee towards you, pressing into your right knee with your right elbow. Little release, deep breath in, exhale. And release, one more deep breath in, exhale. And release, let's swap sides. So left leg across the right knee. Okay, pressing out there. And those that want to, you can lift that right leg up, hands around, take a breath in, exhale, pressing out. And inhale, little release. Exhale, pressing out. Inhale, little release. Exhale. Pressing out. Let's put that left foot down, right leg in the air now. Let's just stretch that hamstring. So now I, I want you to think of your spine nice and long. I don't want you to press in. This time I want you to think of the pelvis going the other way. So you're not arching your back, but some of you might feel like you are. You want that gap underneath because now we're going to stretch the hamstring. So as straight as your leg will go, okay? If by straightening it, you feel your back move, then don't straighten the leg, okay? We just want to feel that stretch in the back of the thigh. You can flex your foot as well at that calf stretch, okay? And then just take a few deep breaths here. Now, keeping your body still, just gently take your right leg to the left, okay? We're not rolling the pelvis, we're just going over. It's just going to change the stretch slightly. All right, just hold it there. Don't worry if your legs are shaking, that's just the tension releasing, which is what we want. All right. Bring it back to the center. Let's take that leg down. Same thing on the other side. So lifting the leg up, making sure spine is long, that you've got that little gap under here. So we're in a neutral spine. And then, oh, my back's really cracking there. And then we're just gonna have a nice stretch here. And then taking that leg gently across. That's it, good. And just take some deep breaths. Well done, and bring that leg back. Okay, so we're gonna bend that knee into the chest. We're just about to finish. So bring the knees in and let's just do a little rock. So take the hands underneath. We're gonna do three rocks and then bring ourselves up to sitting. Okay, so a little rock for one, two, three. Here we go, and up you come. Well done, everyone. So that is your session for this morning. So a very different vibe to last week but I thought it was time because I know you've all been working super hard in January to get your fitness going. So this is all about how to manage things when you're feeling a little bit stiff and achy in the back. I hope you enjoyed it. Do press the like button. Please do subscribe and do go and check out my other videos because there's videos for all levels of fitness now, lots of videos, over 100 on the channel. So do check them out. And if you want to stick around for the chat, I'll come and talk to you now. Well done, everyone. Good work. I hope you enjoyed that session today. It was quite a different vibe, wasn't it, to, uh, to last week's session of cardio pilates. You have to excuse me, just adjusting my hair. But do let me know what you thought in the comments. As you know, there's all levels on this channel. What I really want to get across to everybody is that you don't have to work hard every session. What's really important is to keep our bodies fluid and moving and mobile. 
And I found certainly through my whole life, but certainly as I've got older, is that doing a little bit of movement every day is what works. But it doesn't always have to be, you know, the ultimate Pilates, the ultimate core session or the ultimate leg session. It's about mixing it up. Thank you very much, my dear. My husband, Kerwin, just brought in uh, my notes, so there we go. Um, all right, so let me know what you thought of that session today. Before you go, uh, if you have to rush off, let me please just give you a couple of announcements, very important. Sunday, this Sunday at 10 o'clock, I'll have a release of two videos. They're both on the same thing. I've had lots of people write to me about exercises to tone and improve the pelvic floor. So I've thought about this. I actually did do a, a training course in it. I've actually qualified in a course, oh, it must be five or six years ago now, in Pilates for pelvic floor health. So if that's something that you know you need, it may be uh, I mean, a lot of people have pelvic floor issues. So it could be bladder control that, that could come from having children. It could come from going through the menopause. It can come uh, through uh, prostate problems for men as they get older. Uh, it's a really nice session. I've got one that's mat work. So on the mat, I've also done one in a chair. So if you know somebody older that can't get down on the floor, but might appreciate some exercises for the pelvic floor, then please get them to watch this. They're very simple exercises, but I'm actually having revisited it all myself found it very interesting how my body kind of reacted to it all. So do check that out. That'll come out on Sunday. And then I've also got on Monday another live. So I'm doing my monthly live class for everyone who's on the other side of the pond. So I've timed it so it's going to go out at 4.30 p.m. UK time. Uh, and that's in order to make it kind of morning or lunchtime uh, over in the States and Canada. So I, know I have lots of people over there that watch me. And that will be a standing senior Pilates session, which I know are very, very popular with a lot of viewers. So do check that out. And finally, I have made a playlist for February. So what I'm going to try and do is do you a playlist every month this year. Or I'm just going to pick 10 videos and there are 10 recommendations of things that I think you should be doing this month, okay, or in that month. So January, we did lots of kind of getting everything sort of loosened up, but also quite a lot of cardio work. February is going to be a mix of cardio and some other very interesting kind of sessions to really get your body in peak condition. So do check that out. That's on my playlist uh, channel. It's called the Feel Good February playlist. If you're not sure where the playlists are, if you go to my channel, you'll see the header. And just below where you can see the subscribe account, you'll see the word home, then videos, then playlists, followed by community. So playlists, if you click on that, you'll see all the playlists that are live currently that I've created. And this one is called Feel Good February. So do go and check that out. And if you look at the next column, that's the community page. That's where I post information about what's coming up. I try and post a quote for you every week. And I do my best to answer the comments on that as soon as I can. All right. So, um, so yes, so there we are. That's all the announcements. I must get back to the chat and see how you're all doing today. Um, oh, yes, I also wanted to recommend that if you can, if you want to, to follow me on my Kofi page. Uh, my husband, my lovely husband, has posted the link on the chat here. I think it's a little bit further up the uh, chat. Uh, my Kofi page is a sort of creator's page where uh, you can donate if you want to. Obviously, there's no obligation to, but if you want to donate for what I create for you every week and also for the videos that I put out on a Sunday, you can basically buy me a virtual cup of coffee, um, which is the equivalent of about three pounds. I think that's maybe five-ish dollars, something like that. And you can buy me one coffee or you can buy me a multitude of coffees, whatever you want to do. Some people buy me one every time they watch 
a video. Some people save it all up and then they pay me, you know, buy me 10 coffees in a month, whatever you want to do. But all the money that goes to Kofi, uh, that's all put into trying to build the channel. So, um, but it's also on Kofi. If you're subscribed to Kofi, you follow me on Kofi. It's where I put information that I don't put out anywhere else. So it's almost like a secret club. Uh, where I tell you little things that are going on in my life, but I don't put those anywhere else. So if that's something that you think you might be interested in, then do follow my Kofi page. You can see Ker uh, Kerwin, my wonderful husband, just put the link there on the chat. So you should see that in the chat right now. Okay, so let's go on. I want to see how you felt about today. Um, right, so let's have a look. Um, got some lovely hellos. Let's do those quickly. So I'll whiz through the hellos. Uh, and if you've got a question about Pilates, this is absolutely the best place, the best time to do it because I am actually really here. I'm live. I can read your question and I can give you the answer straight away. So if there's something that you really want to know and you might have asked me already in the YouTube and I haven't answered you yet, which I do apologize for, but um, I have to tell you that I get on average something like six to seven thousand uh, messages uh, on YouTube every month. And as you can imagine, I really want to answer them all, but it's just not possible sometimes. So I try and do my best. I do every day. I, I spend a half an hour doing what I can. Um, but if you need an answer or there's something you really want to say, this is absolutely the best time to do it because this is the time I set aside for you. Uh, okay, so I'm going to whiz through the chat. Yvonne Thorpe, good morning, Yvonne. Thank you so much for your donation. You're a darling. I know you're there every week. You're often the first person on the chat, which I absolutely love. So thank you very much. And yes, I love your emoji. How's it going? It's going really well, but I don't know about you guys who are here in the UK, but the weather is absolutely grim today. Um, you know we love to talk about the weather, don't we, in England? Uh, but it's windy, it's pouring with rain, uh, it's not a great day for taking my little dog out for a walk, um, but it has to be done, doesn't it? All weathers. Um, so yes, and if any of you are interested in my rescue dog, Boo, she was in the video that I made last week. Um, it's very sweet, actually. I did a, I had to film last week and Kerwin had to go out to a meeting up in London. So I had Boo all day and she doesn't like being left on her own. So I brought her in and she just sat on the mat through the whole video, uh, which has been very amusing for some people. So do, do check that out if you want to. Uh, Wendy Grantham, good morning to you, Wendy. Lovely to have you here. And thank you for your lovely emoji, cup of coffee. Uh, and thank you for your donation. I'm going down, Tony Bryans. Good morning, Tony, in the wonderful Yorkshire. Uh, lovely to see you. And thank you very much for your donation this morning. Good morning to Lily Mars. Hello, Lily. Lovely to have you here. Thank you for being there, Lily, because I know you all love me being here at this end, but I love seeing those familiar names. And Lily is a wonderful support of this channel. Uh, thank you very much, Lily, uh, for everything that you do to help grow my channel, because it really does help. You know, if every one of you did a tweet or posted on Instagram or shared it on Facebook with a friend, we could really grow this community. And that's what I want to do this year. I want to make 2022 a year where we can really grow the channel uh, so that I can do so much more for you. Uh, so that's that's the plan. Um, yes. So going down the chat, um, Tony is saying, morning all from springy Yorkshire. Oh, is it feeling like spring? That is Lovely. I know we have um, here in our garden, the snowdrops are coming up, which is always something I love because it makes you realise that spring is on its way. Uh, so lovely to have you here, Lily. Good morning to Carlin Hawkeran. Hi, Carlin, who's over in the States, up bright and early as always. Lovely to have you here. And Carlin says, good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a great Friday or whatever day it is where you are. Well, exactly. I think we're almost all at Friday, but we're in different time zones because I know I have a lot of fans now over in Australia. So for them, it's Friday evening. 
So hello to all the Australians who are watching. And you guys over in the States and Canada, it's very, very early in the morning for you. And then those of us in Europe, we're all kind of within an hour or two of each other. So all good. Oh, and I mustn't forget Japan, because I know we have a lovely lady, Michelle, who's in Japan. So it's your evening, isn't it, Michelle? Uh, I saw you were on the chat there. So lovely to have you here. Sylvia Mears, good morning to you, Sylvia. And Sylvia says, good morning, everyone, from a wet and windy North Kent. I'm feeling you there, Sylvia. It's wet and windy here in Brighton as well. Uh, very atmospheric, isn't it, this weather? OK, good morning to Leslie Matten. Uh, lovely to have you here, Leslie. Uh, Leslie says, looking forward to the session. I only seem able to be able to join live sessions on alternate weeks at the moment and catch up the next day. Well, you know what, Leslie, whenever you're here, it's wonderful. And that's the beauty of YouTube is even though I'm broadcasting live now, you can come back and do it live. And I do feel, I don't know about you, but I feel in terms of the energy, it's very different, our live session to the ones that I record. I think they're both great, but I like the mix. I like to know that you're all really there while I'm teaching. It's just, I don't know, it kind of, it gives it a bit of a buzz for me. So I hope it does for you too. Before I forget, I must say thank you to uh, Carlin for your donation, Sylvia for your donation, Leslie, thank you very much for your donation, Margaret Quinlan, Sissy Jackman and Susan Eisenbach, thank you very much for your donations. Uh, they're all noted on my little page because Kerwin makes a note of everything uh, for me. So thank you all very much for that. Uh, whizzing down the chat. Uh, Lily says, hello to Boo. I'm having computer difficulties and I've been using my phone. So I've been sticking with videos I've already done. So I ha sadly, I've not seen the new one with Boo. Oh, well, I can't wait for you to see Lily. Uh, Boo is very chilled out. She's really not very, <laughs> not very interested in what I'm doing, but she just sits on the mat through the whole thing, good as gold. So um, yes, do check that out. It's a lovely 10 minute standing Pilates video. And you'll see, because it's the only one I've got where Boo is actually in the picture. And at the end, she does her own stretches as well. So she gets involved with the Pilates at the end too. Um, good morning, Sissy Jackman. Hi, Sissy. Lovely to have you here. Um, so nice to have you live again. And uh, yes, I know it's, it's difficult sometimes when we can't make those sessions, isn't it? But you're back, Sissy which is wonderful. And you say, I've practiced lots of your other sessions. See you soon, dear Rachel, Boo, Kerwin, and all the lovely buddies and friends. You know what I love about this community is I love the fact that you all are very warm, caring, kind people, which is what my kind of, my goal was. I really wanted to create a community of like-minded people where, you know, I can help you, but you you also help me, but we all help each other. And it's a very lovely, warm, fuzzy feeling, isn't it? When you know that even though we might be online, there are lots of people like us all over the world who are all kind of have the same idea about taking care of ourselves, taking care of each other, looking out for one another. So that's what I really love about this channel. So thank you very much to all of you that come every Friday and bring all that kind of warmth and humanity to our sessions. Uh, lovely. So Lily says, when she gets her laptop fixed, she's going to celebrate with the boo workout. Great. <laughs> well, do let me know what you think of the boo workout, because if you like it, Lily, we can always do another one. Uh, good morning to the lovely Ruth Enright. Thank you very much for your donation, Ruth. Lovely to have you here. And Ruth, I've still got your emails. Um, I'm so sorry I haven't answered them. I've still got them in my inbox because I will get round to having a look. I wanted to hear your interview because uh, Ruth, everyone, has written a book. And uh, we've got so many fascinating people who follow this channel. Um, I just find it wonderful. We've got writers and artists and all kinds of interesting people. So, uh, yes, I love that. I love that. Uh, we're such an artistic, creative group. There we go. Margaret Quinlan. Good morning, Margaret. Lovely to have you here. 
whizzing down the chat now. It's so nice to have you all. Anna McDougall in London. Hello, Anna. Lovely to have you here. I hope you enjoyed that session, Anna, this morning. Lots of lovely stretches, which I know uh, a lot of you liked. Uh, Helen Lees. Good morning, Helen. Uh, from a sunny and windy County Durham. And Helen says, Boo was adorable in the video. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm so amazed that she sat still for so long. It was uh, rather lovely. Uh, good morning to Susan Eisenbach. Good morning to Caroline Ford. Hi, Caroline. Lovely to have you here. And uh, says, looking forward to our weekly get together. Indeed, it is lovely, isn't it, that we come together at this time on Friday. Good morning to Margaret Scott. Good morning. Uh, Margaret's in sunny Somerset. Hello to you, Margaret. Good morning to Tiona in France. Uh, sending good vibes. Thank you very much. Sending good vibes back to you as well, Tiona. So Anne from London says, good morning all from a very rainy London. I love these weather reports around the world. It's so, it's so wonderful. Uh, good morning to Michelle in uh, Yokohama. Michelle Kobayashi, good morning to you. Actually, it's not good morning, is it? It's good evening uh, because Michelle's saying good evening from a cold zero degree Celsius at Yokohama in Japan. Oh, I hope you're nice and warm now, uh, Michelle. So thank you for today's class. I've been doing Pilates now since last October. That is wonderful to hear. And what I'd really like to know from you guys who are on the chat on this Friday morning is if you'd be interested in doing more of the very traditional Pilates because I try and mix it up uh, for you. So you get lots of variety. Um, but I'm wondering whether you might like a very traditional class uh, next week. So do let me know in the chat below um, because I'm just trying to work out what I'll be doing for you next Friday. If you think that's something you'd be interested in. So that's all the kind of rolling exercises and all those very traditional movements, roll ups. And there's all kinds of other stuff that we can do let me know, uh, because I try and mix the levels up. So today, I would say, was very much a good level for beginners, beginners to improvers. And if you're very familiar with Pilates, it was just a nice one to kind of really get into the movements without worrying too much about sort of the exertion of the more advanced moves. So let me know if you'd like to do a traditional class next week. Or if you have any other ideas, you can pop them in the chat now because I will read them and I will decide based on what you guys are saying because you're the guys that are here right now. So you're the ones I am going to base it on. Uh, good morning to Linda Verdi Thompson. Hello, Linda. Lovely to have you here. Good morning to Emma Morrison. Hello, Emma. Emma says, I've been doing your videos for my knees. First time I've joined live, I must be doing something wrong as I'm looking at live stream on TV and it's different on my tablet. Oh, um, oh, I see my lovely Kerwin has helped you out there. Um, don't worry, I'm sure you will get it sorted. Um, so, oh, I can see you've been, all right, so you've got a couple of different things on there. You know, sometimes there's a delay as well, Emma, but I hope your wonderful teenage daughter worked it out for you and that you do get to join me live another time. Uh, but thank you for sending me a message on the chat. That's always good. And as you can see, there is an interaction here. We do answer you. We do read what you say. Um, and yes, Kerwin can always help. So Kerwin, my lovely husband, is very good at technical stuff. So if you're worried about how to get something or find something while he's live on the chat on a Friday, you can also ask those technical questions as well. Uh, good morning to Myrna Morell, the wonderful Myrna, who's a dear, dear friend over in the States, who's up very early in the morning. Uh, Myrna says, good morning all from Arizona. I'm up early, leaving for LA in two hours. Found the time to do a Rachel. I'll see you again live on Monday. Yes, indeed, Myrna. Hi, and, and said hi to Lily. Love to you all from Myrna. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Myrna. And if any of you follow Twitter, 
I retweeted a picture the other day that Myrna sent me. Myrna does my videos every day, uh, which is so lovely. And it's lovely to know that we're kind of connecting every day. And Myrna sent me the most wonderful photo of her little rescue chihuahua who knows the sound of my voice. <laughs> and apparently every time Myrna puts a YouTube video on, uh, my YouTube video on, the little doggy runs to the Pilates mat because they know it's Pilates time. So uh, if you want to have a look at Myrna's little doggy, go ahead and look at my Twitter. So my Twitter handle is Rachel underscore Pilates. And then you'll see uh, you'll see some pictures on there. So if any of you want to post pictures of yourself doing Pilates with me on YouTube, uh, or your doggies joining in, or your kids, or your grandkids, or your husbands, or whatever it might be, then you can post on those social channels. Just remember to tag me in. So if you're on Instagram, you add my handle at the girl with the Pilates mat, or you can hashtag girl with the Pilates mat, and I'll see it, and then I can respond to you, okay? But I love seeing what you're doing, and who does Pilates with you, or where you do your Pilates. Uh, I know last year, um, we had people doing Pilates in Gretna Green, in their bikinis, and then we had other people doing Pilates in the middle of winter, by the fire, I mean, it's all kinds of stuff, and I love seeing what's going on in your lives, so do let me know. Uh, but yes, lovely to have you with us, Myrna. And I look forward to Myrna chatting with you live again on Monday. Uh, Sylvia Mears says, Rachel, lovely session and great leggings. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, it's little Boo's coming. Good morning, Boo. Boo's arrived, everybody. You'll see her. She's sort of, <laughs> she's actually doing her stretches and decided to sit down there. Do you want to go in your chair? She's rolling over everybody. Unfortunately, you can't see, but uh, she's just chilling out, wagging her tail. I'll pick her up in a minute if she'll let me. Um, so going on, um, Ruth says, I love this session. Thank you, Rachel. Carlin, great class. Thanks as always. Lily says, that was exactly what I needed. Thanks, Rachel. Leslie loved it. Feels good. Anna says, thank you so much, Rachel. That's just what I needed. It's lovely to hear your feedback because it gives me an idea of what's working for you. And definitely this morning was all about mobilizing, getting that body moving. And I always think towards the end of the week, certainly for me, or oh, there's Boo, having a, do you mind, since you're bottom in the camera, um, it's lovely to get a stretch out, isn't it, at the end of the week. Uh, Sissy says, thank you heaps for a fantastic session. I found the last stretching a bit tricky, though. Couldn't figure uh, out where where it should bite. Okay, was that the, oh, that might have been the hip stretches. So yes, those were kind of inside the hip. So it may be that you just need to kind of align your knees a little bit more, uh, sissy, to feel that. But I'll just uh, show you quickly. I think this was the last stretch, wasn't it? was this one. So it was the foot across like so. And the idea is when you do that is not to let your hips twist. So keep your hips level, press out, and you should feel it all around here. And if you lift the knee up, you'll feel it even more. It's going around here and into the glutes. Okay, and this is an area that gets very tight. And that can add to that tightness in the back, which is why we did that today, to try and loosen everything up. Okie dokie. Good. All right. And yes, uh, Myrna, um, lovely message from Lily. Safe journey. Yes, safe journey. Have a lovely drive today to LA. And from London says, that was fabulous. Thank you, Rachel. I feel great. That's good to know. Carol Nee, thank you very much for your donation, Carol. And then Aileen, Aileen, should I say Harrison, good morning, Aileen, says, great session. I did better than I expected. I will do this again. And Kofi coming. Thank you very much. I'm really glad to hear that this has worked really well for you guys this morning. And Butler says, coffee's ordered. Very stretchy session. Great. I do get some stiffness at the back of my knees. Uh, okay. Yes. So that stretch that we did with the leg up the oh I've just realized the stretch that you were talking about it wasn't this one was it 
It was the last one with the leg across. Yes, so if you get tight in the back of the knees or stiff in the back of the knees, really nice way to loosen that up. The very back of the knee there is where your hamstring or your hamstrings, they attach here in the back of the knee. So often tightness there is related to the hamstring. So the nicest way to do that is to do what we did today, which is to do this little stretch here. But you wanna keep that back in neutral as I was talking about earlier. And try and keep this leg still. So, cause what a lot of people do is they kind of stretch and do this. And that's kind of avoiding the area that we need. It's a matter of keeping the leg still and extending so you really feel that stretch come in the back of the knee. And don't worry if you can't straighten your leg. It's once you feel that stretch, you know you're doing good. All right. And then the stretch that followed that was a stretch of the hamstring, but also the IT band, which comes down the side of the leg. And that was basically keeping your hips still, but taking the leg over. So, for example, I feel this all the way down the side. I feel it in the calf here, in the knee, and then I'm feeling it going down through here into the hip. And again, that's the whole idea of it is to get you those stretches in those little areas that maybe you can't quite get into or you're not aware that you need that stretch. Um, okay, so uh, Anne Butler going on says, like your leggings too, grandson Henry's still doing his ballet, hooray. Oh, do say hello to your grandson Henry for me. And uh, I don't know if you wanted to, you could send us a picture. Uh, we'd love to see your grandson doing some ballet. How amazing. Uh, but yes, give him my best wishes. And do make sure he's doing his Pilates. I'm sure he is. Ballet is um, a really, really hard uh, athletic uh, exercise on the body. So I'm, I have found, having done ballet myself, that Pilates is a great support to it. In fact, most ballet schools now do do Pilates as part of the training, cross training to support the, the body. So uh, lovely to hear that. Um, okay, so Sissy Jackman says, I have to pick up my youngest son. Wish you all a happy weekend. Stay safe. Be careful. And bye for now. Love from the Swedish West Coast. Maya, my precious Cockapoo and me, Sissy. Thank you very much, Sissy. Yvonne Thorpe says, really enjoyed today's class. Thank you. Uh, Kawa Murakat says, made me realize how weak my stomach muscles have become recently. Well, you know what? Don't worry about it. That's what we're here for, isn't it? You know, um, part of these sessions are, for me, trying to help you build awareness of what your body needs. And our body needs different things every day. You know, um, sometimes it needs to stretch. Sometimes we need to strengthen our abdominals. Sometimes we need to work on our arms. There's all different things. And, and your body changes every day, depending on what you were doing the day before. So as I always say, you know, realizing that there's something you need to work on is great. Most important thing is noting it, I'm not worrying about it and thinking, okay, that's something I'm going to work on. Uh, and as you know, there's lots of videos for core on my channel. There's a nice 20 minute core workout, uh, which I think is a really, really good one. It's quite a challenging one, but it's super, super good. And it's 20 minutes. So have a look at that 20 minute core workout if that's something that you would like to do. Delia Hart says, thank you, Rachel, for another wonderful session. My lower back has been feeling tight from doing some of the, some of the harder Pilates sessions. So I'll definitely be adding this into my routine. Well, that's really, really good to hear. Thank you very much indeed. I'm loving to hear. So I'm, I can see that these, um, these, the session today really, really worked well for a lot of you. So that's really good to know. Josie Briggs, good morning, Josie. Thank you very much for your donation. Uh, Anne from London says, love the playlist, Rachel. I've been doing one of them nearly every day. Oh, that's really good. I'm great, great, really grateful for you letting me know because I think that's something I'm realizing you need now is a kind of a suggestion each month of what things to work on. And there are 
Um, they're just suggestions, but sometimes I know when there's so many videos, you can get a bit overloaded, can't you? It's like uh, watching TV. Now, you know, we all have so many TV channels. I don't know about you, but I spent an hour deciding what I'm going to watch. So I figured, well, if I make a playlist for you every month of 10 suggestions, you can give them a go and you can either do them all or you can switch them out for other ones. But it kind of gives you a kind of framework uh, of things to work on during the month. And of course, there's always me live. I'll be once a month live on a Monday and as always live every Friday. So there we go. Uh, Yvonne Thorpe says, love the video with Boo on the mat and doing her wee stretch at the end. Indeed. Uh, it's funny, she she kind of knows when I'm online now. It's like she knows I'm talking now, so you can see she's, she's just sleeping. But she'll understand when I'm about to sign off. And she sort of gets up straight away, does a stretch, and like, come on, let's go then. Uh, so there we go. Margaret Scott says, we'll look forward to Sunday's pelvic floor exercises. I probably need it. And Monday's workout. Thanks so much, Rachel. Can you suggest which exercises are good for my core as it's difficult to sit upright. Okay, so Margaret, um, now I'm thinking that if sitting up straight is something that's difficult for you, that might not be your core. Um, well, it is your core, but it's not your tummy necessarily. I think it might be that your lower back needs strengthening. Okay, so, and that's what Pilates does. Um, what he needs to be a mixture of is stretch. I mean, the best way to strengthen your core is to do that mix of stretch and strengthening. So sitting up, right, uh, Margaret, if I just show you. So a lot of people, and this will account for lots of you, a lot of people, and I've seen this so many times when I've been teaching my live classes over the years, find sitting up very difficult. They tend to be, and I'm going to exaggerate, but it tends to be a bit like this. Yeah, so the first thing you can do is bend the knees because bending the knees takes the strain off the back a little. You can put your hands on your legs and try this, Margaret, putting your hands on your knees and see if you can pull yourself up. Okay, now when you get into this position, this is not your tummy doing the work. This is your back muscles. You're actually your back extending muscles. So they're the muscles that get your back to go in that direction. And this for most people of all ages, uh, teenagers, all the way up to people, you know, in the 80s, this is where there's often weakness is in that lower back. So, you know, things that are really good to do are like we do in a lot of our sessions where you come from here, you take a breath in, you breathe out and pull yourself up. So you are using the core. You are working the TVA muscle, which is a core muscle that wraps around the body and attaches to that area. But what might be really good for you, Margaret, is just to do some movements where you're holding on and you're lifting up, taking a breath in and going back. It's like we did today where we're just coming back and lifting up and coming back and lifting up. And again, like all Pilates, it's a matter of just being consistent and doing it regularly. So if you find Margaret, and I know you're very consistent, Margaret, so if you're finding that that is something you've noticed today that's quite difficult, those are the kind of movements uh, to be doing. And it's just slowly, slowly. Yes, just gently, gently lifting and coming back and lifting and coming back. It's like you've just got to kind of tease out those muscles a little uh, and you will eventually get there. So I hope that helped you. Carol Nee says, thanks, Rachel. Another great session. A couple of challenging core exercises at the end. Good for tight hips too. Well noted, Carol. Uh, very good there. Yes, because my designed... Uh, my design of today's class was related to kind of all around that lower back because that's where most people say, uh, and I know most people get very, very tight and also they have a lot of weakness in there. So I did things to loosen up the hips, loosen up the joints. We did lots of rotation, which as I was saying is a really good way to loosen up the back and just to kind of get everything nice and mobile. And as you say, a couple of challenging uh, exercises in there as well. 
Uh, Delia Hart says, and I'm so happy to see your peacock leggings making an appearance again. They always make me smile. Yes, Delia, I haven't worn them for ages, have I? So, yeah, they, you know, these leggings, they are, uh, they must be, they must be 10 years old now, but I just love them so much. Uh, I might get some more crazy leggings. I think it's about time to get some more. What I'm trying to do, and this is actually proving to be quite a challenge, is I am trying to be uh, more mindful of the planet and buy leggings and brands that work sustainably. So the leggings are sustainably made. Um, the product that they're made from is either recycled or sustainable. It's actually quite hard to get. So if any of you know any brands out there or if there are any brands out there that do make those leggings, I'm always interested because I think so many uh, uh, companies that make fashion, they make it cheap, uh, cheap labor. It doesn't feel very ethical. or It's not very ethical, is it? So without wanting to get political about it, I am trying to be very mindful of wearing sustainable clothing, uh, having sustainable mats, which is something else that I'm looking for, mats that are sustainably made. And when I come across anything, I will let you know. Um, so that is often something I'll post on my Instagram um, if I find if there's an outfit that's uh, sustainably made, which I've got one company that I really, really like. So I post uh, and tag them on my Instagram. So if that's something you're interested in, then go and have a look at that. Uh, Jane Rose. Good morning, Jane Rose. It's great workout today. Really needed it for this week's very stiff back. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But hopefully you're feeling a little more uh, relaxed now in that back. Um, okay, Margaret Scott, thank you very much for your donation, Margaret. Uh, much appreciated. Caroline Ford says, that was great, Rachel. So good to have a half hour of stretching. Hips suffer sometimes with cramping when sitting and stretching on the floor. Any recommendations would be great. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think one of the things, Caroline, that's really good for the hips is actually to switch the position. So if you're lying on your back and you're doing movements with your legs and your hips are cramping up, what I uh, have found works really well is to stretch your legs out, roll over onto your front because that's going to stretch those hips. It's going to stretch the front very gently and do those little back extensions like we did in the class today. Really, really nice. Anything where you're stretching. So for hips, when they get tight, you want to be moving in this direction. Yeah, that's going to lengthen out the front of the hip, lengthen out the hip flexors. So anything where you've got the leg behind you, it can be a nice simple lunge with your hand on the wall. It can be where you lift the foot up, take the leg back. Those are the sorts of things, the leg going in this direction, just lengthening everything out. All right, so I've had a whisk down because time is almost up. I just want to check I haven't missed any uh, questions. Uh, Gurdeep says, great session to loosen your spine. I find that with lying down exercises and moving my head up and down, I get a feeling of nausea. Well, Gurdeep, the best thing to do is if you're getting any kind of uh, discomfort or nausea, mobilizing the head is keep your head down for the exercises and do them without. So those chest lifts and things like that, they might be ones for you don't, that don't suit you. Uh, but there's lots of other videos you can do which will work your core without those. So do go and check those out. Uh, Victoria Kurt says, good morning, Rachel. Thank you for wonderful videos. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Victoria. Uh, Delia Hart says, I love the warm up video with Boo at your side. She was too cute for words. Can we have her presence at more Pilates sessions, please? Absolutely, Delia. I'm going to work on that for you. Yes, indeed. Uh, Helen Lee says, Thank you so much, Rachel. Love the session. Great for my back and very tight hips. Look forward to the pelvic floor video. Kofi on the way. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, Terry. Hello, Terry. Terry says, found today's session great. Loved it because I could do it all. Body feels really good, more supple. And yes, I think a more traditional class would be great. 
Thank you for letting me know. We've got another yes from Delia for a traditional, traditional Pilates. Uh, Anne Carol, Anne Caroline, uh, Carlin Hawkins says, how about some upper body focus with stretchy bands? Yes, indeed. Great idea, Carlin. We shall do that. Um, and Lily says traditional class would be fun. Okay. Um, Mary Ann Mahoney said, yes, that was a great class. I did my first rough full roll up this a.m. Way! Mary, well done. Uh, that's wonderful because I know you've been working on your roll up. So there you go, everyone. There's somebody, the lovely Mary in uh, sunny Kildare in Ireland, has been working on her roll ups uh, for a long, long time. And she's just managed her first full one. So I think big round of applause. Well done to you, Mary. That's excellent. Uh, lovely. So yes, so going down at Helen saying you're really liking the playlist. So good to know. Yvonne thought saying yes, some traditional would be great. Uh, but I enjoy the mixtures too. Leslie Matten says, I love the mixtures, but I'm happy to do some traditional sessions. Uh, Caroline Ford says, Rachel, do you ever do a Pilates workshop, which some of us who uh, do live, perhaps live close enough, might be able to get to? Caroline. So the answer is that is coming very soon. I do have a plan to do uh, some workshops when the weather gets better. And they will be in one of two places or possibly both. So there's two places that I kind of can get to quite easily. One is Chiswick in West London, because that's where my business was before the lockdown. Uh, I do actually do a live class there once a month on a Saturday morning. So if you're interested in that, you could go to my website, rachellawrencepilates.com and click on book a class and you'll see where I'm doing live classes in person. So actually this is live in person class. And the plan will be to do, um, yes, I'd be looking at doing a workshop. If you would be interested in a workshop with me, anybody out there uh, in Brighton, I would be happy to do a workshop later in the year, maybe in the summertime, uh, where we could maybe spend a couple of hours together going through things and refining techniques and doing things live. So if that's something you would really like uh, in London or Brighton, do let me know, because uh, I'd be very happy to do that. All right, so I think it's time to go, everyone. Um, Lily says, I wish I could go to the live class. How about doing a Pilates retreat on the Costa del Sol? Well, that is a wonderful idea, isn't it, everyone? We could all fly over to Spain, be in the sunshine and do that. That would be super duper. Um, but yes, that's a great idea, Lily. And who knows if we can grow our community, get more people interested, there definitely is the option for us all to meet live and do a workshop together, maybe over uh, a day or maybe, you know, at some point down the line, we could spend a few days somewhere doing workshops. So that's all plans uh, for the future, which I'd really love to do. So Yes, if that's something you want to do as well, let's try and build our community and grow our community and uh, we can get everyone together. That'd be amazing. But yes, uh, Caroline, I'd be very happy to do a live Pilates workshop. And I am kind of looking at things I have got on my to do list, looking for kind of different locations uh, for where I might be able to do that. So that's all coming in the future. Anyway, everyone. It's time to go. I can't believe I've been talking for so long, um, but lovely to have you here. So just a reminder, on Sunday, there'll be two videos coming out, Pilates for Pelvic Floor Health. I've recorded them so you can do them in your own time, in the privacy of your own home. They are very explanatory on why we need it, what we need to do, uh, and they, they, they do really work because I've, I've done these exercises with a lot of women, women who've had babies and have some issues with their bladder control, older women and a couple of older men as well. So they are really, really good to do.
And I'll be live again on a Monday afternoon. And as always, I'll be back on Friday. So take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. And I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Bye from me. Bye from Boo, who's still asleep, but I'm sure she'll wake up any moment. So take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.